بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹ السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ہاؤ آر یو ڈوئنگ آئی ہوپ یو آل آر ڈوئنگ ویل اینڈ انجوائنگ یور گڈ ہیلتھ گریٹ ہیلتھ وتھ یور فیملی ممبرز ایز ویل بیکاز انجوائمنٹ از جسٹ ود اور فیملی آئی ویلکم یو ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس Once again in Pakistan International School Types virtual learning class for grade 8 and for subject biology. As you know that we are on chapter number 3 that is biodiversity. We are uh, doing today's topic steps for conservation of biodiversity which is the sequel of the previous topic that was how to conserve biodiversity. So Uh, in the previous topic we have studied some causes uh, of uh, destruction of biodiversity today we will see the steps for conservation of biodiversity so let's get started so there uh, we will talk about uh, so, uh, some steps in a few minutes right now you can see here an image in which uh, we are going to make our earth like this condition you can see here this is very drastic and uh, alarming condition for our earth that with that all type of human activities our climate is going to be changed like this so what we have to do we have to change our biosphere from this condition to this condition you can see healthy fresh environment with lots of varieties of life and biodiversity including all living organisms so let's uh, talk about conservation of biodiversity has become a global concern biologists urge the national policy makers to state a set of rules necessary to protect a species they demand that laws should define the species which are threatened by extinction and must be protected so they it means they have to make a red list that is called a red list those organisms the list of those organisms which are endangered or threatened by which um, the biologists or the researchers can take help how to protect that species so in pakistan um all the agencies uh, government or uh, national or um, foreign or government or non governmental uh, um, like all the unions are doing much effort and much work and they are taking steps to protect the biodiversity of pakistan in that the international union of conservation of nature and natural resources that is called iucn and wwfp like world wildlife fund pakistan with collaboration uh, uh, of uh, pakistan's ministry of environment all in coordination they are going to uh, take uh, or they are taking uh, steps and they have made um, sorry made some set of rules uh, to just follow them to protect uh, biodiversity actually in pakistan there are lots of concern concerns regarding conservation of biodiversity uh, there are some causes and due to that that is uh, uh, these uh, policies are uh, facing difficulties to protect the biodiversity the main causes are loss of this loss is rapid growth in human population and somehow poverty pre uh, prevailing in rural areas of pakistan so low literacy rate is also a reason for failure uh, of conservation measures taken so far like um, like this is difficult as to just make it understand to the people that why and how to conserve the biodiversity but not Uh, but with these uh, cases 
in Pakistan, there are lots of services which are going to do by the government of Pakistan and all non-governmental agencies and the IUCN, WWFP and the government of Pakistan's institutions all are working very well to conserve biodiversity. And we are having lots of national parks in northern areas and in different country, different places of the countries to protect the living organisms and biodiversity. So we'll talk about, first of all, National Conservation Strategy, that is NCS, and uh, that is in 1880s, IUCN and Government of Pakistan formulated the National Conservation Strategy for Pakistan for conservation of Pakistan's biodiversity. That is a gr that is great effort from Pakistan's government. UN Convention on Combating Desertification. Combating means to control. Desertification means uh, most of uh, uh, land of Pakistan is going to become desert day by day. That means unfertile land. Uh, fertile land is going to be changed in unfertile land in deserts. So this convention's main emphasize is how to control this desertification. And this is an internal uh, treaty, um, sorry, international treaty against damage and poverty of dry lands. Or uh, like we have to just control uh, that area if they are deserts, so we have to control because desert is a great uh, habitat for uh, our biodiversity. So Pakistan signed this treaty in 1997. So that is UNCCD, that is United Nations Convention to Combat Desertification. If we see the next one, Himalayan jungle project, Himalayas are the range of mountains towards uh, the northern areas of Pakistan, so that is called HJP also, and it is started in 1991 in Palas Valley in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa because that is just as upper portion of the northern areas. And it aimed at protecting one of the richest area of biodiversity because northern areas has lush green forest as well and, and the uh, peaks and mountains as well. So it is having much variety of biodiversity so it has to uh, like this treaty uh, or this project has to protect uh, himalayan uh, biodiversity conservation of biodiversity of suleiman range balochistan if you see the Balochistan part of Pakistan, Suleiman Range, the complete mountain range is there and in which there are, as we know, that in mountains, forests are there and there's great uh, variety of biodiversity. So in mountain, so, sorry, Suleiman Range, Chilgoza Forest is present. You can see in this diagram, this is all Chilgoza Forest and this is the largest Chilgoza Forest in the world. And in 1992, WWFP started its conservation program because that is also at the threat, not only animals, but plants are also, plant biodiversity is also at the threat. It is threatened species are there like Chilgoza forest and they are trying to conserve them because, because they are depleting very rapidly. You see, these are, very healthy nutritional chilgozas which are found from these forests. Northern Area uh, Conservation Project. The northern areas of Pakistan serve as a habitat for number of wildlife species and survival of these species is under threat. So NACP or that is called National Area Conservation Project um, is a project of WWFP World Wildlife World uh, Wildlife Fund Pakistan, which is successfully implementing a ban on hunting of these species because uh, tourists come over there and local people also they hunt the animals, lots of animals over there. So in northern areas, provide habitats for musk deer. If you see this one, snow leopard. This one, Aster Marker, this one, Himalaya Ibex, 
uh, woolly flying skull and brown bear. These are a, a different type of organisms and animals which live over there and uh, they are uh, depleting and declining due to overhunting as well. So this is beautiful area of northern areas that is like um, about Gilgit Baltistan or uh, like uh, Kailash uh, or Valley over there and Hunza Valley over there, lots of beautiful places over there in northern areas which are rich in biodiversity. Dear students, conservation of migratory birds in Chitral KP. Here in Chitral, lots of millions of migratory birds come every year in the month of February. From, they come from Siberia in the night time in February because in Siberia there is too much cold over there. So for moderate temperature, although in Chitral there is too much cold, but not more than that. So they come migrate uh, like me, um, lots of miles and they come all together and they migrate every year. And for, after two months in the spring, they move back to that area. So, but what happened if 1 million migratory birds passing through Chitral, so almost 200,000 birds uh, uh, died uh, every year. That is uh, just estimate, uh, average estimate, not uh, the clear, uh, clear one. So uh, Chitral is actually migratory route of several impo important birds species and they face enormous hunting pressure as well when they migrate from Soviet, like from Russia, from upper side or northern area into the Pakistan. So uh, uh, in the way as well, at the place where they migrated in Chitra, lots of foreigners, lots of uh, tourists and uh, local people also, what they do, they um, kill them, they hunt them. And that is, uh, uh, we can uh, say that is, uh, the great depletion of those uh, species as well. So WWFP initiated efforts to reduce hunting pressure in 1992. That was started in 1992 and the efforts proved progressively, prog uh, successfully as well because most of the rules are implemented over there and hunting is totally banned. But local people just uh, that uh, do the same uh, thing um, um, like and uh, they kill and they hunt lots of birds. We'll see conservation of Chiltern Markor. Chiltern Markor is this good, and this Markor is Hazargan in Hazarganji National Park near Koita, Balochistan. And uh, that is uh, the habitat of Chiltern Markor. WWFV Pakistan developed the management plan of the park, and that was um, uh, like uh, being affect uh, um, like uh, uh, positively affected that the, the rules which are implemented because implemented because lots of people hunt these animals um, uh, just for uh, for. Uh, for the sake of their uh, these tusks as well, antelopes and like lots of uh, other things for gaming for just transport uh, like uh, smuggling and like that so that is totally uh, hunting is banned now if we see this one just uh, excuse me we'll see from here in this picture this image um, Okay, now we will see here that ban on games. There are ban on uh, games, like most of the animals are used for uh, uh, 
uh, banning uh, sorry for gaming purposes they are smuggled they are just sell out to the foreigners to uh, the outside countries for the money for cash so most of the peers most of the birds uh, but now wwf p uh, that have um, that have imposed a ban on this illegal practice and uh, sometimes what happened the herders capture the beer cubs and sell them to the trainers and who train them and sell them to the foreigners for their circuses and different purposes you can see here okay dear students now we will see some of the endangered species in pakistan um so you can see beautiful images of some endangered and extinct species from pakistan but right now we will just focus on endangered species number one is indus dolphin in this very beautiful very innocent um, animal the bird but that is um, indus dolphin means indus river indus river uh, flows from uh, the kashmir china from gilgit kashmir as well as from some part from india and it splits into five rivers then it's uh, just combined into one river that is called indus river so these are some places where the barrages are there so barrages uh, barrages are actually the habitat of these animals but uh, according to wwfp only 600 uh, animals of indus dolphin are left almost 600 to uh, almost uh, 2000 or 1500 animals are just living in indus river indus dolphin are blind you know they are blind so they use their senses um, other senses uh, to detect different uh, type of uh, things in danger and their prey as well they are blind for what reason for um, uh, for the reason of water pollution and turbidity, turbidity because when uh, due to water pollution as well as the turbidity means uh, turbidity means the amount of soil in the water silt in the water it is increased as well as because we are cutting trees so cutting trees means soil erosion and by soil erosion lots of silt just flow down into the rivers due to that the rivers um, are just uh, flared up or uh, uh, filled up with uh, mud and silt so by that a silt uh, because that is not clear so they become blind and uh, that is also dangerous but the other um, problem is the hunting of this dolphin water pollution poaching poaching means illegal hunting and destruction of habitat are some causes of its species declining if we see the next uh, endangered species that is Marco Polo uh, sheep in Pakistan that is found in Kunjrab Pass, uh, sorry, Kunjrab National Park. And that Kunjrab National Park is present in uh, Hunza Valley. And uh, that is particularly known for its long horns. You can see very beautiful and quiet long horns are there. And uh, they look very beautiful, uh, but um, for uh, just uh, tourists and local people hunt them for their purposes. Uh, but that is illegal now because lots of measures are taken for that. So it, Marco Polo sheep that Marco Polo is very different name you know that the name is given after the very famous explorer that was name was Marco Polo Marco Polo actually he was the explorer so he traveled he explored Asia uh, he came through Asia almost in 1271 and um, actually he was italian and um, he was italian uh, italian and uh, he described or he saw that a species during his crossing of pamir or that is called ancient mount imion uh, in 1271 
so uh, that is present in Hunjrab National Park. So that is national park, actually natural one and national park, and that is protected area. No one can enter to. Uh, just the, the must have uh, the person must have light sense of hunting. Otherwise, no person can um, be allowed here. Hobara buster is a one more endangered species. Very beautiful bird indeed. And actually, it loves arid area, like desert area, like rock area, very dry places. So it flies to Pakistan, and also it is gaming bird or migrate. No, sorry, not gaming, migratory bird as well. It flies to Pakistan in winter from Soviet territory, and settles um, uh, settles in Cholistan. and settles in a Cholistan and a Thar deserts. In Cholistan and a Thar deserts in a Sindh and near Punjab uh, at a side. So where there is too much dry places over there and they love uh, that uh, dry places and then they will, uh, they come for six months and they move back. So the estimate, now that around 3,000 to 4,000 Hobara busters migrate to Pakistan every year for six months. So that is a ground dwelling bird that eats desert plants and insects as well. And um, we know that its all, uh, population or species is declining day by day due to hunting as well. We'll see next very important uh, uh, and very uh, like fascinating animal or species that is called markor. You know that markor is the national animal of Pakistan and it is known as a screw horn or screw horned goat. You can see here very lovely and fascinating screw horns. It is having long hair on the body. It is having and it is found in woodland Woodland means in the de uh, sorry in the forest of Central Asia, Karakram as well in Pakistan and Western Himalayas. You can see this green portion. So here you can see where uh, these green green dots are present. So here the markhor is present, but they are kept in protected areas due to its too much hunting and due to its endangerment. So according to KPK Wildlife Report 1993, there are 275 animals throughout Pakistan, but now it is 3,500 animals. So that is progress, uh, progressing and that is uh, very good news. So if we talk about the next very beautiful gaming bird, this is chicken-like gaming bird that is called Chakor, Chakor Patridge. That is national bird of Pakistan and that cannot fly even long distance because it is uh, chicken-like, a little heavy than the chicken, I'm sorry, chicken, uh, a little heavy like chicken, but it can fly just a shorter distances as well. It prefer rocky, steep and open uh, hillsides, also some dry places as well. Very lovely and loving uh, uh, bird it is. And it is also what we can say, its species also declining due to hunting as, as well as this main reason. This is game bird. This is used for gaming purposes as well. Dear students, if we want to save biodiversity, we have to just change our climate in positive way. So then we can uh, just uh, conserve our biodiversity. Save your um, globe, save your biodiversity, save yourself. Uh, dear students, with this, wish you all the best and a good luck from me by this we have finished our chapter number three of our first term and uh, good luck uh, this was miss shazia signing out from um, uh, biology class for grade eight wish you all the best assalamu alaikum